Hello guys, welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect GetResponse to your WordPress website or blog. So GetResponse is an email marketing tool that you can use to send out newsletters, promotional emails, and the rest of them, and also create email automation to automate your email marketing strategy in your company. To do that, you just need to create a new account with GetResponse. So if you check the link in the description there, you see a link there. That link you're seeing there is an affiliate link and this affiliate link helps us to earn some commissions, which enables us to create these free videos for you. Okay, so once you get to the GetResponse website, the first thing you need to do is to create an account. Creating an account is free. As you can see here, they have free plans. Now, once you're on the GetResponse website, you just need to put your email here. So here, I'll just type in my email. Then I click on sign up free. Now, once I do that, I just need to put my name here. Then I put my password. Then I click on create account. Now, once you do that, you will be redirected to this page. So I'll just click on save. Now you need to check your inbox for the email get response to send to you. Now, as you can see my inbox here, you can see get response. So I'll click on activate my account. Now, once you do that, you see this pop-up here. So on this pop-up, you just need to fill in your information here. Then click on save and continue. Okay, then you'll be brought to this page here. So you just click on this and click on next. So you just, if you have your website, you just put it here. But these steps is not necessary. This is just for onboarding. So let me just copy my domain. Then here, I'll just put the website address. Then click on take me to my dashboard okay so get response now provides free 30 days trial so get response is a very powerful tool and i use get response a lot so if you check the link in the description like i said you see the link to go over to get response and once you get the account i can just click on this but you can still go through their tour guide there but i'll just click on it because i already know my way around here so i'll click on tools here and then go to integrations and api so here this is what we need here so you click on details if you want to get the plugin you can but don't worry about it. we'll get the plugin later i'll show you how to get the plugin just go back here just click on api this is what you want here click on api then generate api so here i'll just call it so this is the api i want to use so i've created the api here i'll just click on copy here then now what you need to do go back to your wordpress dashboard on this page here, you just need to type get response. So once you type get response, you just click on install. So this get response is not also necessary in order for you to connect it with the get response software. But why you're doing this is so that it will integrate very well with the platform. So you're just installing their plugin. So just click on install here. Oh, sorry, activate. Now, once you have it, you can see it here, get response. So just click on account. Now it's actually for your API key. So just put your API key. So you just leave this because you're not using the advanced paid version. So you just put this for now, connect. Now you can see it has been connected. So if you want to automatically sync your customers down to get response, you can also do all this from here, but we're not interested in that. What we're interested in is here where we have Elementor. So here I'll just click on settings. So we'll come to integrations. Then we scroll down. Yeah, where we have get response, so just click on it here, paste your API key, then validate API key. Now you can see the checkbox here to show our API key is valid. Then you could scroll down and click on save changes. Okay, so our changes has been saved now and connected to get response. So what we want to do is to go back to get response. I'll just close here. Now we'll go back here. Then we'll click on here. Now we'll come back to contact here. Okay, so here now on this page here, don't worry about this. Here we can create our different lists here. You know, email list. If you want to create your email list, you can just click on create here. Then create your new email list. So let me just name this one. So this is the email list I want to use here. Let me see if it's available. Okay, now you can see the email list here. So what we want to do now, we want anybody that fills this form. So this is one of the form we created in one of our previous videos so if you want to see how to create this beautiful form or how to create pop-up 
on your blog or your website or your income store you can just check out the link that is appearing at the top here so this is just the form so we want anybody that fills this form we want to send their name and their email down to this email list here so it will be stored here so that we can remarket to them later so in order to do that you just need to go back to your wordpress dashboard so here i'll come back to my wordpress dashboard then we'll come to templates here then click on save templates so once you click on save templates you click on all here now when you click on all you'll be able to see all the templates you built with the elementor page builder plugin so in order to follow along you're using the elementor page builder plugin here or you're using the pro version because that's the only way you can get this function here if you're using the free you can get it so if you want to get the elementor plugin and see how to use it we have some videos in the description below in order to get the plugin you see the, the first link in the description below you see the link to get the Elementor Play Builder plugin now. Okay, so this is the form, the pop up form we're going to be working on. Now, when you come to page, you see it. What you need to do is where you have edit with Elementor, you can see it edit. So just open it. I like opening it in the tab. Okay, so now you can see the form here. Now, what we want to do in order to connect this form to our email list is to click on the form. Now, where we have action after submit, to we'll click on it here, add action. So we'll click on it. Now we we'll scroll down, we we'll select get response. Now we we'll come to get response. We we'll, we'll leave it as default here. You know why? Because you know that element of from the dashboard that we added that API key, validated it and saved. So that's why we're seeing this here. So we'll click on. So you can now when you click on list now, um here where you select this, you can see the two lists we already have on get response. So this is the one we want to connect this form to. So when you connect it, now where you're seeing days of cycle. So on get response, there's something called autoresponder. So autoresponder is just like sending automated emails to your, your list. Let's say for instance, when somebody joins your list today, you want an automatic email to go out to that person like basically, welcome to my email list, blah, blah, blah. This is what you're going to be expecting from me. This is what I'm going to give you. This is the value, you know, all those welcome message. Okay, the next day you send it, oh, I want you to buy this product. This is very amazing you know 30 days discount blah 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 you this marketing if you want to set it so by default let's say for instance now you already have your autoresponder on get response you can then select you know when they join this form or when they fill this form you want them to enter this list here and on this list you don't want to just leave it empty there you want to, as soon as they join like they've joined your your mark like your your funnel they've entered your funnel now so from the funnel you start giving them value then from there, the next days, few days, you start selling them stuffs. So you want, when they come there, you introduce yourself to them. So you just want to set it as zero, just in case, let's, let's say for instance, you're just assuming that you already, you've already set up your autoresponder here. So setting up an autoresponder is another video altogether, but I'm just assuming you set it up here. So we'll set it as zero, this or second, while you're setting it as zero, so that as soon as you join, immediately it's going to send out the or the the current that's the first email in that autoresponder to to the the user that signed up with this form here so that's why you're doing that now for the field mapping for the email we want to map it to the email field remember on our form we have name and email so we want to map that one to the email field and then when we click on get response again then we'll come here for the name we want to map it to the name field why we're doing this is so that when somebody fills this form now, let's see, we already have one contact here. So let me see if I can see this contact. You can see, it. so let me just click on this. Okay, so now it's map it to the email field and also map the other one to the name field so that we can be able to know the name and also the email. Now you can see autoresponder zero. So this is what you ought to do. So if you have autoresponder, it will just start sending immediately. Now you can see the subscribe date. Today is 21st of August. So all those things there. Now, once you're done with this now, that is just all. You just click on save. Now, once you save, what we want to do is to test it out. So we are going to fill this form, then check guest response if we're going to see our name and email there. So preview it. Now, once you preview this form, you're going to enter our name and email. So here, my name is Nanta. Let me just enter my, my other name so you don't get confused when you look at it from get response. So my name is Chino, so, and I have an email. Okay, then click on download now, see what's going to happen. Now, form was sent successfully. So let's go to get response. Then I'll just go back. Just click on contact again. 
okay now you can see training blog here you can see now we already have one person added to this list now so when we look at it now you can see the name and the email and the name so this is just it here this is just how to set it up it's very easy so now you can start collecting emails so now i want to show you something now let's say for instance now this pop-up you're seeing here is a pop-up you you set the condition remember we have a video on how to create pop-up how to set conditions for where you want your pop-up to display so i just want to assume now let's say you know how to set up a pop-up and uh, you set up your pop-up so i want to show you how to you know right now what we just tested for is okay if you your name and email the pop-up didn't take you anywhere it just showed you a message that okay your your the form has been sent successfully so i want to show you how to configure this form so that after sending the name and email to get response showing this message then it will redirect you a setting to a setting page let's say a thank you page to tell you okay thank you about and thank you for submitting your email and your name this is what you're going to expect this is the benefit you're going to get from this book blah 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 you know all those kind of stuff so this is how we can do you can go back to our elementor here then screw click on get response here the yeah, action after submit so we'll leave it as get response there then we'll come here select another action then we click on redirect so on this redirect now let's say for instance we have a thank you page on our site so it will redirect when the person fills this form it shows them that message that it has been sent successfully it will then redirect them to that page. but on this this is a blog i didn't create any any thank you page so what i want to do is i want to use the about page so let me just set it as about so the about i'm just using it as the thank you page that okay when they fill this for you to take them to that page so that's why i'm just doing this here so here when i click on the about then i save so it will refresh the page but here i want to close this now let me let me go to the home page and do this so that you can see very well okay so this is the form here so here i i type this name now this is another name then i type uh, which email should i use okay so this is the name this is the email in this case it is outlook.com so i click on sign sign me up now you can see okay i think this form is kind of different so let me just do something here so this is the exact form you know i created two forms one was the um just the lead gen form this in this form is different so here i i select this here so let me use another name so you don't get confused now so the name i'm going to use here is um let's see so this is the email i'm going to use now so i click on download now so you see automatically after filling the form it to redirect you to the page you know normally it's supposed to be the thank you page but we don't have a thank you page on this page so on this website so it's redirected me to the about page. so this is just how to set it up now when we go back to get response the when we do a refresh here now you can see we have three list three name on our list already now we have this one which is the lesson i put there this one is the initial one which is still on so this one is another one so we have three three names here so when i go back so i can see the list very well now we have this here training blog then i click on it now you can see the name here blessing and this this is the the two name here you can see the list here so this is just how to connect your website to get response don't worry in our upcoming video we'll show you how to use get response in our email marketing series so we'll show you how to use get response and other email marketing softwares so if you found value in this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel like our video so it will tell youtube to recommend our video to so many other people who want to solve this kind of problem so i just hope you stay safe and see you in the next one peace